Today I'm playing with my niece Lily. There she is. <laughs> she knows it's a camera, don't you? She's watching it. Mm-hmm. Ready, ready. Nothing. She sees me. <laughs> okay, yeah, I can't. Yeah, do what you were doing last time. You're like stuck. Okay, yesterday, or last night, whatever, uh, Bill sent me a text message telling me that um, he had a new Ground Zero cache that was going to probably publish that night. So I stayed up late waiting for it to publish so I could be first to find, and uh, it never published, so I ended up going to sleep. And About 2 or 3 o'clock this afternoon, it finally published. So, I've spent about the last hour trying to figure out how to solve it, and uh, I finally did, and now I'm going to it. It's in Vacaville, about 20 minutes away, so uh, yeah, hopefully I'm first to find. Be cool. Okay, I'm close, but I'm not sure. It might be actually on the other side of this fence. up here or something. I'm still saying I'm 50 feet away, but it may just be down this way. Nope. Well, see it's saying it's over there. Hmm. Huh. I might have to go down there. It didn't take long. There's the other side of the fence. Very tall. Now it's saying I'm 18 feet away. Getting closer. It's probably somewhere behind these bushes. I see a tire. I see plants. Hmm. There it is. Found it. Right there. Yes. Blank log. I was first to find. And there's actually a trackable prize. So that's cool. I can activate that. Uh, sign my name. First to find. And there's also three other trackables. There's like this dog, a reindeer thing, a car, and a coin type thing. So take all three of those first to find thing. I'll leave some stuff too. Cool. Just got off of work and uh, you know, I went and got some food because I was hungry and then as I was waiting in the drive through my phone buzzed and I found out three new geocaches just published so don't eat my food, cat. I gotta go find these things. Budweiser. I'm passing the Budweiser plant right now. But uh, anyway, so that was cool. I got a first to find on that one, so that's two today. It's almost not today anymore. But anyway, uh, as I was putting it away and rehiding it, uh, another guy who I've never met before uh, came up to me because he was looking for it too. 
I've seen his name. I've seen his, uh, his geocaching username anyway. Uh, so I've heard of him, and I kind of know who he is, but I have never met him before. And uh, yeah, so he came up to me. He's like, "Find what you were looking for," and I said, "Yes." And now it's your turn. So it was fun. And uh, remember, I said there was three new ones that published. Well, he wants to get the other two, so I was like, "Sure, let's go and uh, let's go find those things." So it's kind of cool to, um, you know, just randomly meet people at like midnight that you don't even know, and then just go to a completely different city to look for a hidden thing in the, in the woods. I don't know. It's fun. I like doing it. Anyway, I gotta drive. I'll talk to you later. Alright. It's about an hour later. It was up there on that thing. That's where that one was. Anyway, had a good time talking to that guy about stuff. Wasn't quite in the woods like I said it was, but, you know. And, uh, someone else beat us to it. We weren't first to find, we were second and third. So, anyways, it's time to go back home and hopefully my cat didn't eat my burgers. Not two burgers, I only got one burger, but hopefully my cat didn't eat it. Alright, later. Back home again, let's check. Has the cat even moved? No. It's been two hours, cat. You're still there. It looks like my food is right where I left it. Yes. Good cat.